So what's good with y'all feel me now I'm here and I'm back here with another banger video and yes like as y'all see in today's title and thumbnail I'm going to be giving y'all a Q&A we haven't done a Q&A in a minute I had to go ahead and ask my Instagram give me a bunch of questions I'm gonna be answering them on YouTube and we got a bunch of good questions a lot of y'all been responding so this video is gonna be filled with free game for y'all me all the good questions if y'all new make sure that like button subscribe you know what I'm saying we on the road to 20k we at 16k and I ain't gonna lie we going crazy so hit that like button subscribe let's get straight into this video bro I bet so for the first question we got I need a manufacturer and I'm looking for one for like two months What can I do? I bet so with finding a manufacturer It's not kind of a hard process It's not easy as well for me Because you guys are gonna have to do a lot of testing On which like manufacturers works best for y'all What I will suggest is You guys go ahead and ask manufacturers Like let's say looking for a puff brand hoodie Go and ask manufacturers examples that they have made of a puff brand hoodie Don't just go off of what they post on Alibaba Because they just be posting a bunch of random clothing brands So actually text them Tell them what you want And tell them to send you something similar that they have made that's how i based it off when i was ever looking for a new manufacturer i based it off what they had sent me because if they sent if they send me something that's similar to what i want then i would just go with that manufacturer because that's what i'm looking for you just want to go and compare prices compare the quality only use manufacturers that are verified on alibaba so you guys can get your refund all that good stuff that's the one way i would do it that's like the most effective way in my opinion request for a quotation so basically what that is is you put exactly what you want and it's and alibaba sends it to a bunch of manufacturers for me i'm gonna put a screen shot on the screen right here but you guys can see let's say if i wanted a puff brand hoodie full zip feel me all that good stuff i would just write the puff brand hoodie full zip tech pack and then i will put that and i will send it to a bunch of manufacturers that are in the same category and they will to let you know their price they will let you know all that you're basically requesting for a quotation from a manufacturer which makes it a lot faster which makes the process a lot easier a lot faster not a lot of people knew that i didn't definitely did not know that in the beginning so that definitely helped me with my brand too because i actually did that before as well hope that helped you like i said everyone in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship gets my manufacturers on that good stuff so if you want to scale your clothing brand with me and you want to get all of my manufacturers that i work with you know, click the link down below not trying to waste all that time spending thousands of dollars on manufacturers because i spent thousands on manufacturers too bro manufacturers is not a cheap task bro next question we got i found i started my brand a few years ago and i've not really taken it seriously should i take it seriously if you need me to tell you to take it seriously, then you probably shouldn't even take it seriously yourself, bro. If you're not really in it like that, then that's just on you, bro. If you're not trying to succeed, if you're not trying to do your passion for real, you shouldn't be asking other people if you should take your passion seriously. If you really want to do it, then you will do it, feel me? So I don't know what to say about that one. It's, it's on you, bro. If you want to start your clothing brand, you can start your clothing brand. If it's not really your dream, then it's not your dream. If you don't want to do it, just do it if you want to do it, bro. How does no one wear cozy? Why are you asking me, bro? I don't know. Is it possible to start a business with no bank account? No, it is not possible. Well, yeah, it is possible, but like you personally don't need one. Like you use your mom bank account. You just need somewhere you can store your money, feel me? I would definitely get a bank account to separate everything, like a personal bank account at, at least. But how you where you gonna put your Shopify payouts at? Just think about that. Like you use your mom account, but if you're talking about a business. A business bank account yes you could start without a business bank account because you are, you are going to need an LLC to get a business bank account so if you don't have your LLC yet or you don't want to get your LLC yet definitely you could start off with just using your personal account I was using my cash app at one point yes I know that sounds crazy bro. I was using my cash app at one point so like how you gonna pay your manufacturer all that stuff so hey bro how can I send my company profile and product portfolio to, to you to see our work if you are a manufacturer do not send me a clothes I do not want to work with you Please, bro. If you a manufacturer watch, watching this work, if you a manufacturer and you watching this video, I do not want to work with you. No. But if you're not a manufacturer, contact my contact email is in the description. So if you guys want to contact, I'm saying send me stuff, or you want to do a sponsorship with me, my contact email is in the description. What is the most money you made in a month from your clothing brand? My most was I've made was was 90k, and that was in August of last year. That was the most I made on my clothing brand. The the second most I probably would say 70k. I will have consistent 80k, 70k, 50k months. Feel me? So, but the most I would say is 90k. In your manual, do you sell on your website? Do we get print your print on a man? No. If you guys are looking for my print on a man manufacturer, I'm only giving those to people that work with me one on one. If you guys are, I'm only giving those to my mentees, bro. I'm not giving that out because one, it is my print on the main manufacturer, and I'm not just trying to give it out to everybody. I'm not even selling that manufacturer. You only get that manufacturer if you guys work with me one to one. If you guys are one of my mentees, then you get that manufacturer. You get access to that print on the main manufacturer, which is actually crazy because barely anybody knows them. Their print on the man they're good they fast and they do my art gallery tees 
all that good so i don't basically have to touch no tees whatsoever so all my mentees get that if you guys want to apply to a spot to be one of my mentees if you guys want to scale your clothing brand i'm only taking serious people so if you're not serious about scaling your clothing brand don't sign up down below but only my mentees get that manufacturer so y'all not getting that manufacturer i'm not selling that manufacturer all right so for the next question we got is what keeps you motivated be i, I don't really do this off of motivation if you work just off of motivation then what are you like what are you gonna do you're just not gonna work when you're not motivated so either way if i'm feeling not motivated if i'm not motivated it at all i would still do it bro because at the end of the day it's either this nothing at all that's what how i really see it i'm already doing it why would i stop now i didn't came so far that literally why would i stop now i never thought of quitting youtube ever i never thought of quitting my clothing brand ever like even when i first started i had no zero dollars i never thought of quitting i'm not feeling motivated i'm waking up i'm recording my youtube video even if i feel no motivation at all still got to record i still got to upload still got to pack orders the world doesn't stop around you this is the next brand review video next brand review video i want to go ahead and rate your clothing brand in person feel me so my next clothing brand review video is probably going to be in the next couple of weeks i'm waiting for everybody to send their pieces into me so if you guys are watching this video and you have your clothing brand and you want me to rate your clothing brand send it to my p.o box down below yes we are doing it in person i'm literally gonna hold y'all hand up hold y'all clothing brand up i'm gonna rate it you know what i'm saying give y'all constructive criticism not like quan i'm not gonna just be throwing it away bro like that's <laughs> crazy bro i know y'all been seeing that bro you want me to rate your clothing brand send it to my p.o box down below yes i'm just y'all finna be on the screen, I'm gonna rate y'all clothing brand. I'm gonna give y'all constructive criticism, which I could do about it, how you could change it, how you can make it better, all that good stuff. So if you guys want to be featured in my next video, it's literally free, free views, bro. Free views. If y'all wanna be in my clothing brand, if you if you don't want to, I don't care. If you don't want that exposure, then that's on you. While you watching this, you still got time. You calm down, bro. You still got time, but not too long. Probably like a week or a week and a half. Best ways to advertise clothing on short form. Instagram Reels is where you're going to go. Definitely best ways to advertise short term. Definitely post outfit pictures. Make sure you just get in people recording your video, bro. And actually just think about, you could even a skit could go crazy. A skit could go viral, bro. If you and your homies create a funny skit with your clothes in it and involving your clothing brand, it's just content, bro. You just got to create a different, and just more people in your brand, bro. People seeing people in good outfits is actually in your brand it doesn't have to be actual big influencers just micro influencers that's actually in your brand on tiktok if you post that on tiktok instagram reels has actually been going crazy recently so if you guys aren't on instagram reels you guys doing something wrong see how they blowing up on instagram tiktok and just take it but make it in your style don't copy exactly word for word definitely best ways to advertise short film short form tiktok instagram be going crazy though so i would definitely go on instagram if you're watching this for the next question we got is what's your favorite piece you dropped so far so my absolute favorite piece that i have dropped so far actually my black panda hoodie and my art gallery tee if y'all don't know i dropped my panda hoodie that was like my, my first ever big viral drop that's probably what you guys know me from i won't put the statement of these scmt hoodies up if you guys want to go cop link in the description and it goes crazy like let me know down below what y'all favorite product of mine is i'm gonna put all of them on the screen right here a lot of people say they like my skull hoodies i might actually redrop those too i bet so the next question we got is what you doing after school ends college or moving out to get your own apartment going in my senior year no i didn't graduate yet i know a lot of people already graduated all that stuff but after school bro i'm not gonna lie i never wanted to touch college in my life i don't care what i was doing in life my one goal is to not go to college because i just hated school bro like all my life i've always hated school before clothing brand after my clothing brand i still hate school i've just always hated school once i got out of high school bro I, once i got out of high school bro that's just the it for me bro i don't i'm not going no more school bro i just feel like it's pointless in life you don't learn nothing in there that you really could take into the real world i'm gonna be moving out and getting my own apartment once i graduate all that good stuff so that's just what y'all finna be seeing me all that stuff and y'all just finna see the journey all through youtube that's why i really like doing youtube it's crazy that y'all gonna be able to see like me starting my clothing man me having my first drop to me buying my apartment it's like y'all literally watching me grow up which is really the crazy part is, bro. Like, y'all literally all here watching me grow up. I could really just look back and see how far we came. Like, you guys could go watch my first ever video of me dropping my first my first drop, my first ever big clothing brand drop. Y'all could go watch that literally right now, today. Like, that's what I really love about YouTube is that you could go back anytime and just see where you came from, bro. And 
that's going to be the best that's going to be the best part bro for the next question we got is how has your brand changed your life one i don't have to worry about a job that's the one thing i love i don't have to worry about a job i could do what i love and get paid from it like that's the most craziest part because i could literally wake up and do anything i want because i don't gotta work i don't have to worry about money feel me so i ain't gonna lie clothing brand if you think about starting your clothing brand definitely start your clothing brand it's not bro it's like how i see it bro what i tell people is like there's no way you could lose from it because even if you do bad like you're like if you don't ever quit it there's no way you could lose from it so if you're just doing it every single day and if you put your all into it for six to eight months bro like literally if you put your all into it every single day then there's no way you could lose from it it changed my life crazy bro like i'm not at where i want to be at yet those but that's just how it changed my life from like now. How do you come up with designs? A lot of people think that you're just supposed to sit there, sit at your desk and just come up with the most creative designs ever, but that's not actually it, bro. With me, it took me about, my viral pieces, it took me about three to four months. Y'all see my art gallery tee that's now going crazy. I just now dropped it. That art gallery tee was made last summer. I promise y'all that art gallery tee was made last July. All my OGs know I put it in like a few YouTube videos, I'm sure. It just got dropped today. It just got dropped this month. And it's like, it's just a whole process behind the designs. Like I never really made an, a design in one day and just dropped it in the next, feel me? It's not like that. Like the designs take a few months and it just depends on what you could think about in that moment. Like when I design, I would sit down, get an initial idea and I would just make something, right? And I would end up not liking it and if I don't like it, I'm just gonna scrap it until something else come, come up to my mind. Like, I never really sat down, made it all, banged it out in one night, bro. No, it don't work like that. Well, at least for me, it don't. If something comes up to me, if I'm thinking about my new drop, I would just think about inspiration from other brands. I would take inspiration from Pinterest, like literally just anything. Like anything that I'm thinking about, just design it. How I come up with designs is basically I just go off of the theme of the drop. Anything I see, like if I go in the city and I see something, oh, that's fire. Like what if that's on a tee? Like it really doesn't come up off of okay i'm about to make a tough design right now like you gotta just like it just be coming randomly bro it literally go like ideas be coming to me whenever i'm not thinking about it i literally i swear bro that's how it is like it doesn't have to be made the same day that's why i tell everybody it doesn't have to be made the same day bro like design process is real like it's a whole process to it take your time with it so the next question we got is best marketing tips our best marketing tips to give to you is consistency and creativity and also to do what is trending at the time because take what's trending and make a your own creative way on it that's literally the way to go viral creative spin on it and go crazy with it feel me there's no way your drop will flop if you post every single day good quality good content creative content you making banger skit like if you make a tough skit go viral feel me like literally marketing is just as easy as you make it bro post post videos in your uh, thing i'm gonna go ahead and put a screen screen recording of my boy um a lot of people, if you don't have your product, I'm going to put a screen recording of my boy Life Mox or my boy Mello. Actually promoted his whole product and actually did a good job with just posting videos of his product on Instagram Reels. That's why I'm telling you, consistency is real. It was probably the most he ever made on a drop ever. And he wasn't even getting fit pics, bro. I promise if he had fit pics, he only had one sample too. Keep it out of mind. If you have fit pics, if you have people posting outfit pictures every single day, if you was posting outfit pictures every single day, then I would have went 10 times harder. Can you get samples with just $50? No. I feel like the shipping is $50 alone, bro. Definitely not getting samples for $50. Pakistan, you might get a sample for like $100, bro. But China, the shipping alone is $50, bro. I was, I swear. So, nah, I would definitely just say stack your bread up, bro. Get, get a job, get some money. How to get better at designing. What I would say is designing is just solely creativeness. It's like solely being creative, bro. Graphic design is, is literally all a mental game, all a creative game. All you need to do in graphic designing is learning how to use Photoshop. That's the only thing you need to do. After you learn how to use Photoshop, after you learn what every brush is, once you learn, actually learn the tools of Photoshop, after you learn that off a few YouTube videos, it's just strictly off of your mind. How can you make this out of using these tools? That's literally just what graphic designing is. Tell me how, because I know how to graphic design myself. One thing I did was, once I kept doing it over and over again, once you get the hang of it, once you learn how to use the brushes, once you learn how to use blending modes, once you learn everything, and once you just experiment and experiment, that's when you start realizing that it's just a creative mind, bro. Once you learn actually how to use the tools of Photoshop, after you learn the tools, it's just your mind. What can you make with your mind? What can you think of? What can you create? Definitely just use, just watch some tutorials. Just sit down and actually learn how to use Photoshop. Like practice making some random stuff, like literally. Cause I started my clothing brand. I started um, 
using Photoshop, I started making thumbnails, banners, just stuff for YouTubers, thumbnails and all that stuff. That's why y'all see every thumbnail on my page. I make, I make every single thumbnail on my page because I know how to make thumbnails and I used to actually get paid for doing thumbnails, commissions, all that stuff. But that's literally how I started my clothing brand. I was making clothes myself because I knew how to design. So I'm like, okay, I already know how to design. Let me just go ahead and make my stuff. Bro said need help starting my own brand. Been watching you on YouTube for months. I ain't gonna lie, you should have made like a more specific question than that. But if you need help starting your brand, I definitely make a, I make a lot of videos about, yeah, I literally, you could just watch my YouTube, bro. My YouTube has a bunch of videos on how to start your clothing brand. Like if, it depends on what you specifically need, but I'm not sure because you didn't really put what you specifically needed but get a mentor if you actually if you don't want to if you just want to take the shortcut and you don't want to then go through all the mistakes and stuff get a mentor a mentor would definitely help you out a lot because you don't have to go through the same mistakes that you will make like like wasting ten thousand dollars on manufacturing so this next question we got is how's life been lately bro i ain't gonna lie i just been living bro like life is actually i love how i live now bro because like i just been enjoying life for real crazy because this exactly was what i've been i used to actually dream of like last year before my clothing brand blew up and all that stuff, like packing orders, shipping orders. So it's crazy that I'm actually living in dreams that I actually used to have, bro. And that's crazy because it's so surreal. YouTube, we finna be going crazy on YouTube. I got a lot of videos lined up. Clothing brand, I got drops lined up as well. I just been working, working, working all day. That's just how life been recently. Let me know how y'all been down below, you know what I'm saying? I'm all, I always read the comments, so. This question we got is what Shopify theme you use? I don't really know the name, but I know I paid like $300 for it, so. If you was to get it, it's not going to be cheap. I think, yeah, I think I paid like $300 for it. But I forgot the name. I'm not really sure. Was it difficult to design your first piece? How long did it design to take? First ever piece? No. But my viral piece? Yes. My viral piece, it took about four to five months until I actually dropped it and actually designing because I used to design for like two nights straight, right? And then not touch a design at all for like a month. Like that's really how it used to be for me. That really how it is for me. Like I would not get the idea in one night. Like I would, I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna, oh, I got this idea, I'm gonna make it. Well, that's hard. And then I'll make it. Like spend like two nights working on it. Okay, I'm like, okay, I don't know what to add. I'm not really liking this. Let me just, I would then I would just not touch a design at all, and then I would just work on something else later. Like every single, like probably like every other week i will go back to the design see if like okay i'm gonna add this add that and so the final draft and so i'm like okay this is hard first ever design it probably took me about two nights to make because i didn't really put that much thought because i had no idea what i was doing like i said i was a 15 year old i just knew how to graphic design and i was really i hadn't knew nothing about clothes it wasn't difficult at all i already knew how to use photoshop so i already knew how to use mock-ups like i already knew how to design but I just didn't have the creative mind to design an actual good piece. And I will say that now, bro. Like, bro, them pieces were trash. For the next question is, how did you grow your email and SMS list? How I grow my email and SMS list is every single time before I drop, I have my website closed and I have my website locked and I have basically a timer on my website counting down to a drop. I offer people one hour early access and I let, I let them know if it's pre-made, pre-order, whatever it is, but I let them know they get one hour early access and they get 10% off of their order. That's basically an incentive for people to actually want to be in your sms list that's actually like a reward any single time you're posting on ig reels every any single time they want to actually copy your product they're going to be like okay i want to copy this this hard then they go to your website they see it's close okay it opens in 10 hours it opens in three days however long it is it opens in three days okay you get early access plus 10 percent off your order but that's fire i'm finna sign up and that's how you get basically a lot of people on your sms list i love doing that with pre-mades it gives a lot of people like the urge to want to buy it because it's going to sell out fast for the next question that we do got is your favorite clothing brand as of now not including yours the recent ones i really been liking 77 studios carpe vestum i like 10 series 10 series we go crazy bro uh what else i like life Mox art my boy mellow shout out to you bottega desires that's another one he's fire he got a tough brand i bet so that is all the questions for today feel me if you guys are new make sure i hit that like button subscribe like i said if you guys want me to review your clothing brand and y'all want to be featured on my videos literally Hit that like button, subscribe, send your old clothes to my PO box down below. If you're watching this video now and the day of is uploading, you still have time to send it. I'm probably going to be rating these brands soon. So if you're watching this right now, literally go make the label, send it out if you want your brand reviewed. And I'm going to go ahead and review y'all brands, give y'all literally a platform. Make sure that like button, subscribe, bro. I appreciate all y'all for watching this video, bro. 20K on the way, and I got some crazy stuff planned for y'all this summer. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Your steppers need to start pressing pills to live up to their title. I'm Simon Cow to these niggas on American Idol. I hit Givenchy, all black playing scrubs on vinyl. Had